Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation and today we are looking at my top five favorite low waist swaps. Um, basically number one is an insulated or double walled water bottle and coffee cup. Um, basically so <laughs> this one is a clean canteen. I have um, Ever Eco and I have a Maxwell Williams one. Um, I also have a cheeky bottle one um, because I have one next to my bed I have one on my desk at work I have one um, in the fridge um, basically so <laughs> um, always have a water bottle with you I've had one since um, I was a child um, or just a water bottle in general with me since I was a child it was it's an Australian thing as well um, that generally we carry around a water with us because our country is exceptionally hot most of the time um, if you are American, it would be the equivalent of possibly living in Texas and Arizona. <laughs> um, uh, that's a lot of our country. Um, so we always have water. Um, this keeps it cold. And also this is a ceramic um, lined Frank Green cup. Um, but the point is, is that it's double walled and it will keep drinks hot and um, icy cold drinks cold. Um, it is, which is important as well. Um, the other benefit is these don't sweat. So neither one of these sweat. So you're not going to get a problem where um, these are uh, sweating into your bag or into your backpack or into your pocket or however you're carrying it, is they're not going to sweat, um, which is why you get double walled and insulated ones. Um, so... Uh, in particular with the Frank Green as well is that it doesn't leak um, so please bear in mind um, while we're on coffee cups and water bottles the reason I have two separate ones is that um, please keep them separate to your coffee and your water as quite often there is cross contamination also please wash out your water bottle frequently um, most people don't wash out your water bottle and you get natural backwash and even if it's your own backwash and you don't um, use your uh, share your bottle that bacteria from your mouth goes into your water um, bottle so do not cross contaminate um, your coffee and your water and wash your water bottle out so there are two tips for that. Also, the Frank Green ones are non-leakable. Also, it's still a little bit wet because they take forever to dry. This lid takes forever to dry. Um, but outside of that, these are very great coffee cups. They don't leak in your bag, um, and which is very important when you're walking around. It's very important for a reusable coffee cup to not leak, which is this one. Um, but yes, don't cross-contaminate. Wash your water bottle. Frank Green doesn't leak. Um, number two on my list is stasher bags. I do have a review of stasher bags up. I do have a review of, um, love these. I've got the snack size, the sandwich size, and this is the sandwich size, but with a wider bottom. Um, I've got these in a, several colours. Um, I'm a massive fan of them. I think, um, they are really, really great. They are awesome. Um, I use these all the time. I use them for camping, for work. They're freezable. They're able to be dumped into boiling water. I have used um, other Ziploc bags that have failed me quite severely. Um, one melted in the hot water, like in the sink. I put them in the sink to wash them in hot water and they um, melted, like the plastic melted. These, you don't have that problem with Stasha. I have used these as um, a temporary wallet when I have been traveling down south, um, I have used them in a lot of ways and a lot of reasons and I've used them while camping. These are great for a variety of uses and in a variety of ways and are pretty sturdy as well. Um, next one up, number three, is nesting containers. These I have Ever Eco ones and these ones are You Can Serve ones. Um, Ever Eco is Australian, You Can Serve is American. I think I, my Ever Eco ones are in use at the moment, which is why I've got these ones here. But there is three containers. These are leak proof as well with the lids, which is very, very important um, when you have your lunch bag and you, you don't want things leaking. So there is three containers um, for snacking, um, which is stainless steel and these silicon lids. Um, and obviously, um, outside of them having food in them, 
that means when they're clean they pack it down really really well as you can see um, which makes them easier to transport um, they are good for camping they are good for going down the park for snacks they are good for taking um, to work and they are leak proof which is exceptionally important um, I usually use these for my snack boxes frequently for hummus carrot and veggie sticks crackers or yogurt um, obviously they're not reheatable um, which can be a problem if you want them for pastoral rice dishes and you want to reheat them um, but outside of that they're very very great for snacks um, bar soap and conditioner this is actually my favorite brand hold on there we go that's maybe a bit better this is uh, more luminous um, they're actually a Perth company um, this is the shampoo and conditioner um, I'm usually I was a liquid person um, however these are easy to use easy to use and um, bathroom are not really um, set up to drain soap properly which is super frustrating because these need to be dried out um, so they don't melt away but I just have a drying rack um, set up elsewhere to dry them out however I would appreciate if bathrooms became designed to use more soap um, that's actually why I used to use liquid in the bathroom is so I didn't have to clean up the soap scum and mess um, that can be super frustrating but soap is better than the liquid um, and this shampoo soap and condition um, hair soap and conditioner is very good and I love it um, I love this particular brand I'm more luminous but um, even then uh, find Lush does them and plenty of um, my favorite soap company called Pure Rat Bag Soap also done a, does a shampoo and conditioner but yes I definitely like these um, the it just saves um, the amount of bottles that you use and this I think replaces two bottles of shampoo and conditioner so which is actually quite significant when you think about it oh and these also just come in these recyclable cardboard containers so um, even the packaging is um, recyclable um, last but not least is these um, I use glass containers um, for taking lunch to work as well um, these can be reheated um, so refrigerated and reheated um, and so as storage containers they are outside the lids which are plastic but you can just replace the lids you don't have to buy an entire lean new container um, and they're easy to clean they don't retain, retain flavors or they also don't get stained like the glass doesn't get stained um, so um, they are not practically much heavier than plastic in an env in a work environment or in a city environment either. Um, so yeah, this is plastic. Um, um, outside the plastic lids, um, glass containers. Um, also, even if you use if you lose the lids, you can um, use um, covers on these, like the silicon covers that you take over the top, whereas they're not as flexible plastic. Um, my uh, so my bonus fact or my bonus um, not fact my bonus favorite swap is this it's a Rumio it is a um, um, ear curette so these are all ear cleaners um, there are six in here um, of different shapes and sizes so um, these are stainless steel um, I use these and I no longer use um, disposable earbuds um, because even any kind of disposable ones are not good even if you get them in um, bamboo I will be doing another video on bamboo soon as to why bamboo is just as bad as palm oil but um, in the meantime these are stainless steel these should technically last me for the rest of my life and I don't have to replace them and I don't need to use cotton buds so thanks for watching um, enjoy your morning afternoon or evening depending of course where you all are in the day and I will catch up with you all in the next video. Bye everyone.